Good morning to the saints of North Creek and the saints well beyond. It is now the fourth day in our Lenten uh, journey, March the 4th, and we continue on our, our travels from the time of the birth, the announcement of the birth of Jesus, uh, right on up to the cross and Easter Sunday morning of the uh, resurrection. And I'm going to continue this morning out of the uh, Gospel of Luke. And in this devotion, we run into Simeon and Anna. Simeon, a very old man, uh, who just said, Lord, you know, this, please let me see this, the one you are sending to save all of Israel and, and, and to be our Messiah. And then I'll be able to die in peace. And Anna, the prophet, who only lived seven years with her husband, and her husband died, and then she went into the temple. And she devoted her entire life to prayer and, and sacrifice and fasting, praying that her eyes could see this Messiah as well. Both of them led to the temple. Both of them had their eyes opened. And I'm going to read to you now uh, from, from the Gospel of Luke. Whenever uh, Simeon, uh, who was came into the temple, and he realized that Jesus' parents were there and the baby and the stirring inside him, the feeling he had. And as soon as his eyes were on top of the baby, as soon as he saw the baby, his heart leapt. And he knew that this was the time. He knew that this was the one. Remember, our relationship with God is not an intellectual pursuit nor a debate. It's an experience. And when he realized that, he says the 29th verse, talking about God, Master, you are dismissing your servant in peace. Your promise to me, I'll see before my death this Messiah. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light of revelation to the Gentiles and a glory to the people of Israel. And then we jump to the 36th verse. We were introduced to Anna, the prophetess that I told you about. There was also a prophet Anna, the daughter of Phineel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At the moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child, to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that you'd open our hearts and our minds, that not only would we be hearers of your word, but that we would become doers of your word. You know, we can wait a whole lifetime. We can make many Lenten journeys. And at the right time, it's like the old proverb, whenever the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Whenever our hearts are open, that's when the Messiah will appear to us. And I just pray as we take this Lenten journey, as we walk it along all these pathways that Jesus is going to walk between here and the cross, that our hearts will be opened in a new and precious way, that we will find a very special peace to know that if we die at this instant, our peace is complete, our salvation is sure, and we can have the joy that we have been one with God and one with one another. May the Lord bless us as we walk this wonderful journey. Amen.